Hey everyone, watch as the assistant shows you how to make these erupting volcanoes, just like this one right here. Whoa, this is going to be a lot of fun, and you can learn more about science. Take a look. Hey assistant, what are we going to make today? An erupting volcano. That's right, you're going to make a volcano that erupts up, right? So first, we add water. The first thing we've got to do is have our proper safety equipment. So you've got your gloves on, right? Those are special latex gloves. And she's got safety goggles on. Not safety, safety goggles. Not glasses, but goggles. The so safety first. Okay, so, so the first thing you do is you put your funnel on your jar. And we just made our volcano out of rocks and kinetic sand and play-doh and all kinds of fun things, right? And uh, these balls, tiny balls. And little and little foam balls too. Yeah. So first, I'm gonna tell you all the ingredients. So first we have water, vinegar, so food coloring, and baking, baking soda. soda. That's right. So add the vinegar first, assistant. Vinegar. Oh. That's water. This? So right there's vinegar. Yep. And vinegar has a really funny smell, doesn't it? Yeah. Do you like the smell of vinegar? No. No. Next we add the water. <laughs> now you gotta be real careful. At least it was water. Not to spill things, we gotta take extra care. Okay, so now she's added the water to it. Now she's gonna put in some soap. Now it says about two tablespoons, so I'll let you know when to stop. A little bit more. Little bit more. Now, people at home, what color is that soap? It's Should I stop? It's yellow. A little bit more. Just a, maybe just a little bit more. There you go. That's good. Right there. Okay, so the, all that's going down into the funnel and into our volcano. And when that's done, what we're going to do is we're going to remove the funnel. Right? Not quite yet. We still got a little bit more left. Okay, remove the funnel, and then we're going to add, how many drops of food coloring? Three or four? Let's do four. Let's do four drops of red dye. This is going to make it look really red and lava you want. One. Hey, Blum, count. That's one. One. Two. two three. Three. Four. four. Four drops of red food coloring. So this is how the volcano works. The water and soap mixed together to make soapy water, just like you'd have in your bathtub. Then we've got vinegar. And what the vinegar does is it reacts with the baking soda and causes all these bubbles to come up, which takes the soap. So you've got the baking soda. There's a little over two baby. Now we don't put our finger in it, right? Right. So wait a minute, assistant. What do you think's gonna happen? When we I add? think it's gonna erupt. Is it gonna is it gonna be hot or cold? What color do you think it's gonna be? Right. So this is how you do science experiments. You, you make a hypothesis on what you think is going to happen, and then you see what happens. So assistant, what kind of gas is going to be created when the carbon, when the baking soda hits the vinegar? Do you know? No. All right, I'll give you a hint. Carbon dioxide, just like when we made the Frankenstein glove experiment. Remember, right. remember that carbon dioxide? Yeah. Should we pour the last thing? Well, I don't know. People at home, should we put it in and make our volcano erupt? Yes. Do you think so? Tell us in the comments. I don't know. Should we do it? We're just going to do it right okay, now. Okay, assistant. Go ahead and add it. Add it all at once. Okay, here it goes. Ah, it's not really red. It's white. It's coming up. Do you see it, people at home? It, maybe we should add more food coin. <laughs> I, I think we, we might have added a little bit. We could add a little bit more. No, we don't want to add it right now. So there is all of the bubbles coming up. Do you Was see it? Was it supposed to rise? It is. Look at how high up it already is. It's oh. going to start spilling over the top, right? Right. Wow. It's spilling. There goes the lava down the sides. The assistant needs to move her hand. Yeah, because you never in a science experiment ever want to touch it, right? Right. Just in case it's something that could burn you until you have an adult. Now, assistant, should you do this without an adult? No. No way. Now, if we use a smaller container, it would have exploded really high, wouldn't it have? Yeah. But Good thing we have an island. 
That's right. So we use a smaller container. That's why it's just bubbling a little bit over the top. Because if we made it too much, it would have exploded really, really, really high, right? Yeah, that's why you asked me to step back. That's right. Should we make one that explodes really high? Yeah. Okay, let's try that next, okay? Okay. Okay, so since this time we're gonna add more vinegar and more baking soda. So what do you think is gonna happen? It's gonna explode? It's gonna be bigger, right? It won't explode, but it's gonna have a bigger eruption. So uh, let's add the first ingredient. Vinegar. Which, vinegar. So we pour that in. Good job. Now we're gonna pour in the water. Now we used about the same amount of water as last time. Yeah. All right, so we got all the water in. Now since instead of, let's take the funnel out. And you can add the food coloring next. Yeah, we'll add the food coloring. That way it should mix it up a little bit better when we add the soap. So one, one, two, two three, four. Four, good job. Okay, and now we're gonna put, how about four squirts of soap into our volcano. Okay. Four squirts. So one, one two, two, three, four. four. How about a little bit more, one to grow on? Five. Five, there you go. Ah, some of one on the side, but that probably will work okay too. All right, and the last ingredient is, why don't we move that soap a little further away? There we go, and our last ingredient is the baking soda. Now, since we have more or less than last time? More. More, that's right. So more vinegar and more baking soda. Dump it all in real fast. Ah! Whoa, look at it now! That is a volcano! Whoa. Whoa! So we added more soap, I'm sorry, we added more vinegar, and more baking soda, and we got much more lava, didn't we? Yeah, but it kind of looks pink. That's because we probably could have used a little bit more food coloring in it, right? Right. Wow. So that is how you can make a super cool volcano. Let's see, ah. Move that cup with the baking soda in it. Now, is the assistant, is it a good idea to touch your experiments? No. No, let, leave it with a parent to make sure that that the parent and make sure that it's safe. Now this one right here is okay because the bubbles are just carbon dioxide and the soap is just soap. So that's what, what the reaction is. So that is how we were able to make our super cool, what? Lava. Volcano with lava. Right. Right, that's pretty fun. All right, assistant, do you think we should do more science experiments? Yeah. Me too. Click here. So make sure you, you subscribe to the engineering family. Right. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And our secret spelling word is gonna be... Volcano. V-O-L-C-A-N-O. Spells... Volcano. So make sure you type that in the comments. Make sure you check out TEF Kids, TEF Animal Channels, and, and TEF, TEF 123. 123. Those are three other channels that we have, and right? And TEF 123 is a channel. It sure is. Okay, everyone, have a great day. Bye. Bye, see you next time. We'll look at your volcano. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Hey there, everyone. Thanks for watching our video. Now make sure that you subscribe to the Engineering Family so you can see lots of cool videos. In fact, there's another cool video right there. You can select and watch it. I think you're really going to like it. Is it Team Umazumi, Paw Patrol, Surprise Eggs, Frozen, Blade, Masha? There are so many videos to watch. Bye.